Hello everyone, welcome back to Crazy IGCSE. So today we'll be learning an IGCSE Physics 0625 topic, measurements, length and time. This is the first topic of uh, physics in the IGCSE physics syllabus. So rulers can be used to measure small distances of a few centimeter and they can also be used to measure the nearest millimeter. And to measure small, uh, large distances of like a few meters you could use a tape measure however if you want to measure even larger distances a trundle wheel is more uh, recommended so this is a trundle wheel i'll show you the picture of a trundle wheel this is a trundle wheel and a measuring cylinder is sorry a measuring cylinder is used to measure the volume of liquids or by measuring the change in volume the volume of an irregular shape so for example here you need to also remember that always measure from the bottom of the meniscus so uh, this is the meniscus oh, i'm sorry so if you zoom this picture this is the meniscus okay so uh yeah and then if you're having an irregular shape okay an irregular object like for example this stone so you need to do measurement after minus the measurement before so the measurement after is 31 um if you see clearly it's 31 centimeter cube and the measurement before is 24 okay so 31 minus 24 is seven centimeter cube so the seven centimeter cube becomes its uh volume so that's how you calculate volume of an irregular object also if you are trying to measure a very small distance it's which is less than a centimeter a micrometer could be used and this is a micrometer micrometers can measure distances to the nearest one by hundredth of a millimeter like that small if you want to measure time intervals then you could use stop clocks or stop watches and uh, human reaction time is very important because it, uh, if, if the measurement involved is very short then it will be very difficult to record the human reaction time so it says here it can have a significant impact upon the measurement so the measurements will have differences in it if, uh, if, if there is a difference in the human reaction time multiple readings so this is an example example you uh, you've given a question to measure the thickness of a sheet of a paper so what you need to do is uh, you, your answer needs to be accurate right so first you measure the thickness of 100 sheets of those papers and then uh, divide your answer by 100 and then it will give you an accurate figure of the thickness of one sheet okay now if you are having a pendulum so the process of taking a reading of a large number of values and then dividing the number dividing it by that number okay so that's a good way of getting accurate values for small figures uh, the time period of a pendulum so if you need to find the time period of a pendulum what you need to do is you need to measure the time taken for 10 swings and then divide that time by 10 so this is how you will find the accurate time as well you will have to remember that you should always use small cylinders rather than big ones so this is a common question asked in your mcqs so they'll ask if you should use a small cylinder or a big cylinder or if you uh, which of the following statements are correct so questions like these are possible so the answer will be you should use small cylinders rather than big ones this is the end of our topic i hope you understood this topic well any doubts you can comment below please subscribe like share and comment thank you very much